Hello, this is Mr. Corsi, and today we're going to talk about customizing your Finder toolbar. When you log into a Mac for the first time, there are several things that it just doesn't have set up for you that might be useful that you can set up for yourself. In this lesson, we're going to talk about customizing your Finder toolbar, and it's really easy. First thing you need to do is open up a new Finder window. The Finder basically is your file manager for Mac operating systems systems. It allows you to see a list of folders and files throughout. There's different ways you can view them. Icon, list view, and as columns. You can also have them shown like a slideshow. Uh, the lesson today is we're going to customize the toolbar to have more icon buttons at the top. And all you have to do is click view, customize toolbar, and I always like to put eject, burn, uh, get info, delete, and create new folder. Instead of just showing the icons, I like it to say what they are. So I do icon and text. So now it labels each one. And then click done. So whenever you need to create a new folder, you just click New Folder. If you didn't need to delete a file, you click Delete. If you want to see information about a file or folder, you just click Get Info. The next thing I'm going to show you is we're going to show the tab bar. Just go View, Show Tab Bar at the top. The tab bar is pretty awesome because instead of opening up multiple windows, you just click Plus and you can go to another folder like documents and you can just copy one file from this tab to that tab you can have several tabs open at once so that comes pretty handy and you can close them just like this uh, the next one is we're going to view show path bar now this shows where on your hard drive the path in the folders containing the files. So if I want to go back to Macintosh HD, I can go right there. Also, show status bar. I like the status bar because it shows you how big files are and additional information. Last, you can go view, show preview. If you got images, it'll show you a preview right there. I don't always like to have that on. It's just a preference if you want that or not. But that's pretty much some finder settings to make when you log into a Mac for the first time. Just a few settings to make sure that everything is easily accessible and you have things that you're going to use to make working a lot easier. Thank you all for watching. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.